Howdy. <laughs> the problem of practice for this hack, how do we automate the creation of personalized documents and emails from the cloud? Some examples of use cases where I'm imagining this problem. Uh, teachers often have to generate individualized progress reports. Uh, it'd be super nice if we could make more personalized worksheets and assignments for students. Um, there's often a lot of bureauc bureaucracy around counseling letters, disciplinary letters, anything that has to go home that has to have student, student information in it. Um, and this might be a really, uh, there could be, there's a lot of long answer stuff that teachers are collecting in Google Forms, and they, they, uh, they haven't found efficient ways of giving feedback on, on those kinds of uh, form submissions. So all of these are challenges that uh, I believe I've found a fairly fun solution to. The solution involves first collecting and organizing data in Google Forms and spreadsheets. Um, this is a super flexible and free set of collaborative tools. Um, a lot of people already know how to use it, and it's, uh, it's very similar to the Office Suite, so it's not much of a learning curve. And then the other piece is to be able to use Google Docs and create a uh, reporting template. So the idea being that we, we create our personalized uh, document as a template. And if you've ever used Microsoft Word for a mail merge, there is this tag convention that you use with these double brackets that allow you to insert merge tags. So these two things come together in what I call the autocrat script. You can see the little dictator mustache on our robot. And the byline on autocrat is it, it's, you're using the autocrat so that you don't have to be the bureaucrat. And <laughs> it's written in F script. Uh, it installs with a few clicks in a spreadsheet. And once it's installed, you don't actually need any scripting ability to run it. Um, here's an example of a template. So this is the School for Teaching and Learning. This is my theme, dream theme school uh, that's going to open in, in 2020. And uh, this is a, a letter, fake letter for lateness. And you can see the, the merge tags in the letter. And this is the imaginary back end to a form. So imagine lateness is being recorded in a Google form. It doesn't have to be. This could just be a compiled data that I keep in the spreadsheet. But it's data in columns. And there's an example form that might feed it. And the script installs a new user interface. So you can go in, and the first thing you're going to want to do is set up settings. You'll notice the settings panel has a field that allows you to choose the sheet that you want to pull from. It has a place to choose the folder where you keep your document templates, and then a place where you can choose your document templates. Once you save those settings, you you can see, well, here's just an example. I have my document merge templates in a, in a collection. So they're, they're sitting in my Google Docs collection. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is actually map the fields. And this is kind of cool because it, what it means is your, your tags that you're using for your mail merge don't have to match. And the field mapper looks like this. Um, so it actually allows you to go field by field uh, that's in the letter and match them with specific columns in the database. So it's like super fast, super easy, and it just saves the mappings for you. Um, the next would be, then you just go in and you test and run your merge. So there's a, a number of different subsettings in this. And you'll see the first is you can, if you want, save the merge doc, uh, file to your docs collection. So you can designate what folder you want them saved in. Um, you can uh, you'll notice, give it a customized file name. So if you look at the way the file name is described here, these are variables that are going to get dynamically filled in. So as the docs are saving and going, and going, and the the merge is happening, they're each getting a unique file name. Um, you can choose to create a doc or a PDF, um, and then secondarily, you can choose to send emails. So there's a second checkbox that allows you to actually create an email that attaches the document to the email. So you can automatically send the attachment to whoever you want. And again, the email recipients can be static addresses. They can be addresses that you pull from the spreadsheet itself. And furthermore, you can actually set this up so that the doc gets shared with the recipients. So you can actually send out a collaborative document this way and have people click right into it and start editing it. And again, this is on an individualized basis. So you could imagine giving essay feedback, for example, to students on a student-by-student -student basis, 
pasting the body of what they submitted in their form into a doc that is set up as shared between you and the student automatically. So there it is. It, it completes. It tells you it completes. It tells you how many it merged. And it leaves a little breadcrumb telling you that it, it executed successfully for that record. So I ran this just for one. This is a way you can test it. Um, you can just run it on the first row. And there's my inbox. And you can see the attachment has a customized name. I was able to include the current date in the attachment. And if you go into your collections, you can see I designated the folder Letters Home January. And there are all the different merge documents that I've saved in that folder using this script. So huge efficiency gains, potentially. And again, lots of really interesting use cases. Here's the list again. You can imagine probably hundreds more where you can automate the personalization of documents. So this is me. I'm Andrew Stillman. I uh, wrote this for New Visions for Public Schools. And if you need any contact uh, or support on this, uh, there's a URL where you can get help. Hope that's helpful. Cheers.